What is up you guys? How are you? It is Valentine's season. Love is in the air. Everyone's together with their significant others and you're probably sitting at home like It's another year. I have to endure Valentine's Day by myself. Well, never fear. I'm here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys ways to enjoy Valentine's Day without having a significant other. First things first on this list, pamper yourself. Girl or boy, it doesn't matter. You've had, maybe the January didn't start out how you wanted it to. And maybe February is not hitting it as you wanted to was either. But it's okay because on Valentine's Day, you can get in the tub, get your candles on, listen to your music, and pamper yourself. You know, do your skincare routine. Maybe you haven't done it in five days and your skin's begging you to. You know, maybe you just need to get back in the groove. And having a nice pamper and skincare day is just what some, might, some people might need. Step two, decorate your room, decorate your dorm, decorate your house, decorate your car. Decorate. Now, I like decorating. I like cleaning. It gets me, like, to release stress, you know? But I don't want to be cleaning on Valentine's Day. I mean, if the place is messy... I'm about to clean up. But if, you know, it's just looking quite gloomy, your room's just kind of, uh, clean up the area and decorate it. Make it look so beautiful that you would be so shocked that you did this. Like, you walk in your room and be like, oh, who did this for me? But no, it was actually you. And you just, you know, you know. Step three. Get together with your friends and watch a movie. Now, you don't need to always watch a movie. You can just hang out. Invite your friends over. Have a friend in times day. Just a day for you and your friends. You guys can sit together, watch t TV, binge watch a show, you know, get comfortable, get the popcorn, get the candies, sit, chat, and have a wonderful time with you guys' presents. Is Come on. Come on, do you really need a significant other to have a good time on Valentine's Day? I don't think so. And the last thing on this list to make Valentine's Day fun for you and your friends is to create gifts together. So now you guys, you know, you're at whoever's house, you're outside, you're out having a good time. And to kick it off, you guys are like, oh, let me create some Yes, you know, to end it off, you do want to make something for your friends to just show them how special they are to you. And they want to show you how special you are to them. So something that you can do is you can make some cards, you know, DIY cards, you know, and just to get you guys like using your hands and not just going to the store and buying it and not really caring about what it means, you know, using this time, all of you guys together in each, in each other's, you know, company, making the cards, you guys can make, you know, get some chocolate you can get the berry the strawberries and sprinkle the chocolate on it and then you guys can you know get each other flowers and just spoil each other you don't need to have a significant other to enjoy valentine's day valentine's day is a day where you show others you know that you care for them that you appreciate them and you and your friends can have a fantastic valentine's day i said valentine's so many times Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, thank you so much, and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye!